Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today I'm going to talk about brakes. And so, basically one day I had, uh, this is a, uh, an older vehicle, it's at least 10 years old. And, uh, you know, I, I got it from somebody's yard. That uh, what happened is basically they rebuilt the motor, but they forgot to put a new radiator hose on it. And then blew the head gasket, so I had to put another. I had to have the head rebuilt. It's always important to have new, uh, have keep your uh, your hoses good. You don't want any bulges. If you see bulges when the thing gets hot, you need to replace the hose. A bulge in my world means a defective hose, particularly when they get hot. If they get hot and they start to bulge around the edge here, you need a new one. Now I've driven. Uh, this quite a while with a bulge in it but I have replaced this and I replaced the head quite a while back <clears throat> I had an HHO system on this but I took it off because I had a carburetor problem basically the carburetor had a float adjustment problem it was leaking excess fuel down to the carburetor but anyway back to the brake so this is this what happened is one morning I got up and I I was taking off down the road and then I noticed I didn't have much pedal. The pedal was going almost, almost down to the floor. And I, so I pulled over and I looked at my, my, uh, my uh, reservoir and uh, it looked like it had fluid in it. Um, and I actually didn't take it, I didn't open it up, but it looked like it had fluid in it. It had uh, probably what it had is there's it almost looks like a line a dirt line so it looked like it had fluid so I just left it alone um, but in reality it was empty so whenever you check your fluid make sure you open that up and look inside there so it was kind of an optical illusion it had a sort of a dirt line on it, it looked like it was it looks like it had fluid in it and so what the problem was is that if you look inside here this is my this is my inner part of my wheel and you can see now it's got a little bit of moisture on it, but you can see this here this is basically brake fluid <clears throat> and if you look inside your whatever your axle area here you will see that there is uh, fluid or liquid leaking and so that's basically a wheel cylinder so this basically has to come apart and the wheel cylinder has to be replaced <clears throat> so so basically you know this is for informational purposes um, working on brakes can be very hazardous so uh, if uh, in doubt always contact a professional so, and you can see there's, well, it's actually not here, uh, oh, maybe a little bit, but, so basically this hub has to come off, and then we go and take the wheel cylinder off and then replace it. And so what happens usually when wheel cylinders go out, that means the brakes shoes are, are shot too, because the, the, uh, the wheel cylinder will leak into the brake shoes and so once the brake shoes have fluid on them then you'll uh, you won't have even stoppage so this that other wheel over there will stop uh, quicker than this wheel because there's fluid on the on the shoes you can try and dry them out I've dried them out with alcohol and cleaning them up real good but to be safe Basically, you'd want to do a whole brake job on this thing. At, at the point where you're having problems with this kind of thing, you'd want to just have a, a whole brake job done because what happens is if you don't have your brakes properly done, one wheel will stop and you won't have the other, whatever, footage, grabbage, uh, when you need to stop in an emergency. So that's my tip on brakes. And if you need any help, you can contact me at Mr. Maintain at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching.